Now, why would ladies wear black? Because in the past, ladies and gentlemen, a lady would have two dresses in her wardrobe. And we didn't have the streets that we have now. We have desert. So when the lady would go outside in her red dress within the beach hotel, this was the first hotel of Sheikh Mohammed. And this is what we call the wave. As you can see, it looks like a wave. It has over 600 rooms, all sea facing, 14 restaurants, and they closed it last year for half a year to renovate the whole rooms and buildings. The boat here on your right hand side, that is a. Sorry. <coughs> sorry. A convention area, sorry. And this is the water park, which will disappear in the future because they're going to build an island in the sea. And here, where is the water park, we're going to build two more hotels. And the water park will get into the sea. Now, in the water park, there's one slide. They will give you the skis or your snowboard. If you don't want to ski, but you just want to be in the park, you can go to the snow camp. That is more for children. There you can do tobogganing. You can be in a pool that goes down. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have something on the slope that you not might have. We have penguins. So they brought some penguins, and at a certain time, say about 2 o'clock, the children can go to the penguins, and they dance with them, they kiss them, hug them, and then back. Yeah, so we have that on Ski Dubai. We even have a tea bar. We have, oh, sorry, we have a, sorry, a, um, forgot the name. No, 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 where you can, you know, fly. Um, zip line, that's it, zip line. Okay, look at your right hand side, you can now see Ski Dubai. Yeah, that big tube that is coming out of the shopping mall. Tabenham's very big here. Harvey Nichols, also big here. And then you see the Carrefour, that's are the huge supermarkets here. We have the hypermarkets, the Carrefour. Now, this building on your left hand side, this is our metro station. We have since 2009 a metro. And I thought in the beginning that it would not be successful. I was completely wrong over there. Lots of people are using the metro, especially the people working in the shopping malls, working in the offices, people who don't have a car. Now, the metro of Dubai has two lines. This is the red line, which goes south-north, and we have an east line, the green line. And if you go into the metro, you have to be careful. There is one compartment, which is gold class. There you can only sit if you have a gold class ticket. It's more expensive, but you might be able to sit. The second one and a half compartment are only for ladies. And sometimes you're sitting there, you're standing there, and some men, tourists are coming inside, they don't understand it, but it's only for ladies. Now why is that? To protect them, to give them the privacy. And I have to be honest, in summer, if I'm in the metro and it's really very, very busy, I prefer to stand in between the ladies' armpits. Very simple. And I know for certain that nobody will stand next to me who is maybe touching my bum. I know that there's not, they don't do that here, you know. And there is about two and a half compartment which is mixed men and ladies together. Now, the metro is over here. Only 10% of the metro goes underground. The rest all go above because it was cheaper to build it like this. And then we have a lot of showrooms of cars. We have McLaren, which is part of the Lamborghini. We had also the Bentley. What is now the most popular car here? I have to disappoint you. It's the Toyota. For the simple reason, when a Toyota breaks down, it's very easy to repair it with power parts that might not be Toyota. And I go to a little garage managed by somebody from India or Pakistan who will repair it for a third of the price. Well, if I have a Mercedes, I have to go to the Mercedes garage. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, the air conditionings in the Toyotas are very well. And if you buy a Toyota today, tomorrow you still have good value. If you buy a McLaren today, tomorrow.